lost. All right, let's go. I guess I should turn oh. one of their audios on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dick is gone missing. The cutscene skip. F in the chat. Yeah. Press one if he missed. Oh yeah, you guys are like maybe two or three seconds ahead of me. Maybe. Gotta gotta hold your commentary for a couple seconds. <laughs> no spoilerinos. No spoilerinos for the chat here. <laughs> Alrighty, Dingo just entering his Klungo Klungo fight is. Dick's tailing right behind him, but a couple seconds behind. Alright. Mm, what potion could he possibly get? Looks like it is red for Dingo. Dick approaching his Klungo as well. Alright. Both red. So that's gonna be an easy fight for both Spoilers! of them. Spoilers! <laughs> <laughs> I really tried to wait there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what your timer is at for Dick, Gogo, but I got 22, 23, 24, 25. Alright, gotta wait 8 seconds. 8 there. seconds, yeah. <laughs> so, Dick has been grinding this game pretty hard, and I don't think Dingo has been grinding as much. He's been, I think he's been like busy, pretty busy recently. Yeah. Oh, true. Trust me, he's been, he has done quite a few long streams where he would do nothing but any bird. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've been there. I've seen that. Yeah, I think I Dick, is, uh, Dick has been grinding pretty hard lately for a 43 in this category, so... Yeah, 44.02. It's gotta hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Just forget to include the Jinjo Manip Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Dingo's just jumping up on the red house. And he gets a first, first try, try jump. That's right. crazy. Oh, but misses the treble clef. Dick's still not that far behind. He's just doing his jump as well. Second try. Wow. Second try jump. He didn't use the T-jump. The T-jump. Yeah. Registered oh. trademark. <laughs> but, but let's not forget that Cole has the best tutorial for this job. <laughs> yeah, just just close your eyes and you'll get it. Yeah, works every time. Yeah, Zalrons, they're they're not using the same uh the same uh viewing software as I am, so they're going to be they're going to be delayed just a little bit. Or not delayed, but I'm delayed because they got a, they got ahead a little bit. Ani Dutago, outside of Klongo one and two and Hag one there will not be any boss fight in this run. Yeah, all the ones in the levels aren't touched. These boss fights are very slow. Yeah. yeah. Alright, both runners make it out of Bottles' house. Yep. Well, Dick's just making it in, but... Dingo makes it out. Yes, I... Uh, Dick did fail it. Big rip. If Dingo gets a sub-5 DGM early, I'll be pretty impressed. Considering he hasn't played in a while, at least not. At least I haven't seen him. Imagine him being right now. It could happen. Anything can happen. Yeah, I remember that when he was doing his 24-hour stream, mo for most of the marathon, he had like a 45:36, I believe, and he simply could not get a run. But. Yeah. Yeah. Dick with the first try plateau early is... Dingo's right yeah. on his way. 
Ooh, goes for the YOLO and misses. 501. 501 GGM early. Is that good enough for you, Asmi? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> good enough. Considering it's a red potion, sure, why not? Yeah. Dick taking a few tries to get his GGM early, but he makes it in. Now we're off to the running shoes section. All right, predictions on the timers. I think nine. I call nine for Bill. I'm gonna call a ten for Dick. Jump around. All right, with <laughs> Dick Dingo barely <laughs> getting a, a hit. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that eight, that eight <laughs> hung on for a very long time here. Yes. Dick's running. Dick had a very good run, it looks like, and he's going to be getting a nine on his gate timer. <laughs> I overestimated them both. Yeah, Dick having a good waterfall. Fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And Dingo having to get hit twice there as he did not take damage during the Klungo fight. Yeah. In the end, that doesn't lose very much time at all. Yeah, especially if you don't do that uh, instant like hit that yeah. Mumbo always does. It's a very small optimization. As long as he remembers that he needs to take damage twice to do it fast there. Dick gets it. He does the fast drop. Spoilers. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was caught up. <laughs> oh, the timers are way off. I gotta pause Dick for like another four seconds. Oh. So this flight's <laughs> it had some flight frame drops here. Uh, Falcon, Dick is gonna f fail the Klungo cutscene skip. Outside right, of Dick that, just I entering say, Wombas. Outside of that, I would say that. There's no major difference. They both started with red potion, so that was good. I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's good, but it's <laughs> it definitely means on their Klungo too they'll only be they'll only be saving time. Pretty interesting. They both had the exact same GGM early split, split, like segment time. 15 seconds apart after Klungo 1, and 15 seconds apart after GGM early. That's really Pretty interesting, easy. I never noticed that. I mean, they're not very far apart either. Right now, Dingo's in the middle of his um, box moving scene while Dick just started it. Yep. Let's go ahead and swap over their Listen. audio here. Dingo does. Oh wait, the spoilers. <laughs> Dingo <laughs> makes it around the water, jumping in, jumping in just now. First try detonator levitation. <laughs> yeah. With a Bex so jump to boot big. on top yeah. of that. Successful Bex jump trademark. Yeah. Dickson on this is the jiggy jump. though. It's where you do a midair jump just as soon as you touch the jiggy, so you don't land on that platform. Oh yeah. Vaccination levitation. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Vaccination levitation. <laughs> Ooh, the gap is closing. Yeah. Mm. Just goes. Ooh, Dingo misses his backflip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
and they are less than a bunk apart here. That doesn't mean anything. It could happen. Yeah, looking at the way it has been happening, Dick will probably end up getting the first bonk here of the race if one shows up at all, just because of um, just because of how the luck's been dished out this tournament. Dick entering into the caverns. At, at this point, it's basically any mistake from either player could, could upset who's going on. If Dingo messes one thing that Dick manages to get just fine, then yeah. Yeah, all but of a sudden we're going to see a lead switch. They are very close right now. Ooh, Dick with the immediate jump, not turning his camera. That's gonna, it's gonna lessen the gap even more by about a half a second. Yeah, but we're still not of it yet. We're still tons of RNG and ton, tons of our tricks left. Yeah, Mayhem Temple is probably the the hardest part of the run to kind of stay ahead of your opponent. There's a lot of stuff that can happen in that level. Oh yeah, definitely. Yep. I mean, players have absolutely no control over their prison codes, <clears throat> and anything can happen at Jade Snake Grove early, at Pillars, at the flight section, anything yeah. is game. Wow. I, I, I feel like for the tricks that come before GGM early, like, eventually you're, you will get it, but I feel like for the empty tricks, you can just mess them up over and over and over and over until you never get it, it feels like. Yeah. And it looks like Dick is the first person to learn Fire Eggs, having slightly better movement out of GGM than <laughs> Dingo. So we, we've we got a bit of a, a lead switch here. I mean, it's not by much, but it's by something. Yep, both 12 minute flat leave GGM. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, Dick with a nice solid walk around, Dingo with a nice solid walk around. Both players are playing Playing at the top of their game to kind of keep neck and neck with each other right now. Oh yeah. Let's not forget, let's not mention that he's, Dingo is also on PB base right now. Yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. Right there when they were walking to the log, I feel like you could tell that Dingo is a 2E runner that's not jumping. And Dick is a BK runner who's jumping all the way to the log. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, jumping when you first like start moving gets you moving at top speed faster, but I don't know, some areas of the game I feel like it's better to not jump just because like you want your camera to shift a certain way and jumping kind of makes it go up and down, which is yeah. can yeah. be laggy, but it's one of those things that it matters so insignificantly. Yeah. But any time save is any time save. So you'd probably save time, but not the full time save of going at full speed. Yeah. Alright, puzzle predictions. What's it gonna get? I I don't really have any predictions for this uh, race. Uh, uh, I call 90, 91. I call 90 for Dingo and 91 for... I'm calling a 94 for both of them. <laughs> oh, liar. Double, double 94 in a tournament race coming up right here. Oh wow! Okay, wait. I am. Um, oh yeah. Dingo with the not so lucky MT puzzle split up. Mm -hmm. It still manages to do well. Yeah, both players 90. with a 91. Nice. Let's go. Yep. Dick has gone barely one second ahead of Dingo Slayer in the race <laughs> right now. Now Dingo doing pretty okay with his splits. He's currently minus 6.45 seconds on his splits. Yeah, not bad. Pretty good. 
still maybe possibly see a 44. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's still a long race. I don't know where um, where he has a lot of time saved, but his best possible time shows a 44.32, so... Yep. Yeah, and definitely. And that's with the red start, so green is still at Congo 2, possibly. If I had to guess out from Dingo's bloody his PB probably got a blue potions. Alright, Dick's going oh no, Dick doesn't do I uh, looked looked at like he was gonna do the beak bomb strat, but both players going for the flap over. Yeah. Both of them get it first try, nice and easy. Okay. I remember when I started doing the big bomb strat, it, it was not because I thought it was faster, I thought it was simply easier to do, since it, I simply had a visual cue on the door. Yeah. I definitely but, don't think it's easier, because to do it fast, you kind of have to YOLO the big bomb a little bit, but at the same time, like, I don't know, it's just cool to see. <laughs> yeah. But then... Mumbo did it and timed it to be two seconds faster. Yeah. For for a newer a newer runner trying it out, it definitely does get a lot harder though because first off you're using an extra feather to do it, and so it's one extra feather that you don't have later on in the level. That's as, true. Yeah. As well, um, as well, like you need to be able to beak bomb to the right spot. If you're too far left or right, that could definitely affect how your beak bomb through the top of the door works. Oh no! Dingo waking up the snake there. Jumps a little bit too late. That's yeah. gonna hurt quite a bit. I believe that's 25 seconds lost from that. Such a long cutscene. Uh oh. <laughs> what? I accidentally, uh... I accidentally made the stream too big. Hang on a sec. There we go. Got it fixed. Got it fixed. Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything's all good. I'm gonna do the same thing to Dick's stream now too, just to just to make sure everything's all the same here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Nobody panic. <laughs> All right. We've got Dingo miss barely missing the jiggy there, yeah. but he does a quick backup. Yeah. Luckily, yeah. missing the jiggy there isn't so bad because you're right in front of where the uh, you're right in front of like where you're supposed to be to grab the note, so you can easily just just land and walk down the steps. Although sometimes, if you're not careful, you can take fall damage when you're going down, and that sucks. Yeah. But this has given Dickus Khan a lead now, so... Dick with a pretty good flies, finishes up. What's your guys' uh, timer on Dick right now? 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, yeah, you guys are still like 11 seconds ahead. Alright, we've got Dingo <laughs> missing the treble cliff there. Yep. Just he going was... through the Jinjo. Yeah. He was a bit too high there for to do a big bomb. Ooh, and I think he thought he hit his last fly. He wasn't looking around anymore. Dick doing his prison codes right now, and it looks like he got third try code. Yep. Rip. Rip. Ooh, and Dingo getting hit by one of the darts from the spot spot. 
Jumped a little yeah. too close to the middle there. I'm proud of them both for tagging the warp pad on the way to prison compound code. Alright. Good job, what, then. What does Bingo get? Definitely goes Art. to show if they're uh, they're doing the most optimal route grabbing that warp pad. Yep. Yeah, it saves one whole second to grab to tag the warp pad on the way to the curb there. All right, so Dingo's on his way in to go chat with Dilberta. Meanwhile, Dick is just about to start his pillars. Yeah. Did you see that way he exited the water there? That was kind of weird. He like got into talent shot like on the wall, like just barely on the slope. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of get into talent trot at a slant there. Mm -hmm. Having a very clean pillars. Yep. We got Dingo starting his pillars. Slips off the Hopefully. boulder. The boulder is one of Dingo's worst enemies, yeah. for sure. He had said a... quite some things about the, bo the boulder. <laughs> had a couple yeah, people say in chat over the last couple days, the boulder, the boulder is the hardest pillar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been in multiple Dingo streams where he would just try and practice and grind out pillars for like an hour. Pretty rough. Yeah. I mean, aside from the boulder having trouble right at the beginning there, he had a very, very clean pillars, so I guess I guess the pillars practice definitely paid off there. Alright. And we got Dingo going for some fetters, even though he has enough. Alright, let's see what kind of puzzle is going to come out what of Dick puzzle? here. I'm still waiting for one person to like build drill the boulder by accident. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a top meme. That would be great. Right, Dick with an 87. Clean, pretty clean. Wow. What even is the best time for the witchy wall? Is it an ADH? Uh, oh, for witchy world? world? The best yeah. I've gotten is an 87, but I'm sure an 88 is very possible. Decent looking witchy world split up for his puzzle here. Yeah, not bad. Unfortunately, all the ground pieces do look the same. Yeah. yeah. Probably gonna finish this with an 84. Oh, misses the last yeah. piece. Just barely. 83. I just love these races where people alternate between puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> now Dingo's turn for a puzzle. Practice puzzles, kids. It's worth it. Really worth it. Alright. Kinda having a pretty good puzzle here, too. Alright, and Dingo also, also yeah. choked the 84 there on the last <laughs> beat. 
Wow. Let's see if anyone can match Mumbo's 84 he got yesterday. Second try, uh, JRL puzzle. <laughs> I mean, 80, 84 was, at least he got something out of it. Yep. I mean, during a race, maybe it doesn't matter so much. 84 is come and 84 is go. Dick with the 79 JRL puzzle. Now, now Dingo's about to start his JRL puzzle. All right. one behind. We also got Dingo struggling to figure out the ceiling pieces. Yeah. I usually have trouble with the middle pieces, some yeah. of them. For the JRL puzzle, I usually try my best to look at the light source that's like that really bright light. You can tell where the pieces go by just like looking at the angles of the lights on the pieces. Oh yeah. The only the only part that's really hard is the very ground, the very bottom uh, row of the puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. I tend to look for the ground or the ceiling pieces when it's split when it's splitting up. I do that with just some random pieces. I should prob probably look at like specific pieces that would help me. Yeah. I'll just use some random pieces to go in random directions. Like, oh, that one goes there. Yeah. Yeah. When the puzzle splits up, it's always good to like, especially if you're running a longer category for some of the later puzzles that have a lot of pieces, it's good to see like a couple of the middle pieces or even side pieces and where they split up to. Yeah. So you can immediately put them in without having to think too much about what the puzzle looks like. Yeah, I wanna say that past a certain point in NoDCW, I just place the, the side pieces first, just because there's less <laughs> options to guess from. Yeah. Putting in the middle pieces isn't so bad, because if you pick up a piece from the side of the puzzle, you kinda have to like, you kinda have to put them in the middle anyway. But the side pieces, like if you get side pieces that split up on the right hand side that go all the way to the left, it does add a lot of time. Yeah. Ooh, and Dingo accidentally warps to Plateau instead of Pine Grove. Awesome. Relatable. Alright, we we get the egg getting the Snyder. I I I really thought that it was gonna be too low there for a shot. That yeah, was pretty fast. Also, Dingo he makes the fruity shoot the thing, but he still gets hit by him anyways. He just runs into the back of him. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's really hard to like pick up the note and yeah. then kinda get it in there. Yeah. You don't get the best camera to do so there unless you turn it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, no bonk from Dingo on split up. No bonk so far, right? I don't think so. I don't think we've seen any bonks from either players, that's right. I don't remember any bonks, Ten. I don't have a great memory anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Dick on his way to Clifftop now. Aside from a couple bumps along the road, Dick's had a pretty okay run so far. Yep. 
cutscene skip was one big one. But... Yeah. That was probably the biggest one, I think. Yeah. Dingo on his way to Plateau to open up his path to, <coughs> to Clifftop. Wow. It's always interesting to see if, if the runner was able to get on the door frame first try or not. Dick has gone really cutting it close while entering Jarrell there. <laughs> I don't know what that scream was that we just heard from from Dick's stream, but that was that was pretty funny. Nice. Oh, that's that's Dick's gold oh, yeah. split sound. <laughs> this hag. <laughs> this hag's exclamation point mating call in his chat. Oh, that's Dick's split noise for golding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's funny. It used to be his reset button, but then there was too much. So he changed it to gold. Alright, Dick about to do the swim. This could be a good chance for Dingo to catch up. It'll take a little bit, though. I mean, a death is like a big time loss. Yeah. Alright, no hit from the octopus. It's clear. Dick taking an extra safe swim around the octopus's last tentacle there. Yeah. I didn't know you could actually go that far right without getting hit. Oh yeah, there there isn't anything over to the right. It's just... Wall. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure that you can't hit any part of the tentacle from back there. Just like how you can kind of swim through the one if you go too far to the left as well. Yeah. Dingo goes all the way to the edge of the platform to go into water. Is that faster? I feel like it's faster to just go straight to the water. The faster you enter the water, the faster you can dive down. Yeah. So, I mean, it's way faster to enter the water at the soonest point you can. Yeah, however, so my logic. Yeah. however, your air is very tight on the swim, and so if you enter the water a little bit later, then you have a little bit more time to make it up to the surface of the water. Yeah. So jumping in later is definitely a safer way to play it out. Oh, yeah. It's kind of weird because even if you jump in the water in this game, you can't really dive until like you uh, bounce back up to the surface, right? Yeah, there's there's a little bit of an animation that you need to go through before you can actually start swimming. That's one pretty big difference from this game in BK. I've noticed it's like screwed me over a bunch. Yeah, in BK there's still an animation when you're going into the water, but it's much yeah. shorter. Yeah. yeah. And a funny thing about that animation in particular is if you get interrupted during that animation by a cutscene or something, you can actually tr trigger a glitch to move in first person. Yeah, I don't know how any of the, the glitches work there. Yeah. I remember Captain Cole was playing around with that a long time ago. All right, potion time. Yep. See the RNG. Dingo's just on his way out of JRL in a second, while Dick's just starting his Klungo too. So, all right. Let's see what we got here. Blue potion. All right. Nice. Will he go for the yellow shot? Uh, it's not so much of a yellow shot on Klungo too, is it though? Yeah. Having egg aim gives you a lot more options to kind of shoot him. It's much easier. But you could be stuck here waiting for a long time. Yeah, the Klungo, the first clone that splits up can still give you a hard time, but I mean, you can just wait for him to get out of the way. Blue Potion Klungo like... 2 can be really good or really bad. Looks like Dick got a really nice, yeah, really nice pattern really there. All the, Klungo, all, all the clones just like went to the side, so he was able to shoot right away.
Dingo's turn. What's it gonna be? Also, Dick's last chance for a bonk. Will it happen? Find out next time. Alright, that. Oh. <laughs> Looks like they both get red. It's like Dingo's a little distracted by something <laughs> going into his second Klungo race. <laughs> Yeah, stop typing, Dingo. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've got a race to possibly win. Um. Alright, Dick's on his way into into Hag 1. Definitely showing off how much um, practice he's done. And it looks like Dingo's about to shoot the wrong clone. Yep. Oh no! Yeah, it's, oh, no. Players, players gotta see the, the, the real Klungo out of the clones is much brighter than the others. The other ones are very dark in color if you like look at the shades on their skin. You can always tell which one is the real one because of the face, and he's getting blocked so hard by the other clone. <laughs> what do you get for not differentiating? Yeah, that 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 second blue potion or that first clone just was like walking exactly over the same pattern that the real one was. Yeah, that was that was te that was terrible luck, terrible luck out of Dingo Slayer's stream. Quite unfortunate. And if you cannot tell the difference between this skin tone, this skin tone, the real one has a yellow vest. Yeah, all the other ones use tide. This one doesn't. It's tied at. Shout out to the Super Bowl last year. I only watched the commercials. I don't know. I still think the the uh, the cloaks on the f clones are still darker than the real one. The real yeah, one is like a beacon. Yeah, it's like more yellow though, so I feel like that's more dirty. It's nasty. No bonk. Wow, is this a bonkless race? Unless we all forgot that there was a bonk at the beginning somewhere. <laughs> right. I don't know, I feel like I would have seen the chat spam PG salute or bonk time. Maybe. I don't think I remember that. Yeah, I don't remember either. Well, both players were on the main menu for a split second. Dickus Khan was re-entering his file while Dingo Slayer was going to set up his DCW, so... So it looks like Dick has a really sizable lead on Dingo going into the final lap of the game. It's probably close to... close to a minute and a half, probably. He'd have to screw up pretty hard to lose right now. Yeah. But Hagwon is hard sometimes, so... Hagwon can be hard, but it's really hard to lose... Like, there comes a point in Hag 1 where it's really hard to lose more time if you know how to do the fight, other than dying. Yeah. Like, yeah. like if you know how to do the Hag fight, Hag 1 fight properly, like, maybe, like, losing, like, 15 to 20 to 30 seconds even can happen, like, if you have a really bad section of phases. But anything more than 30 seconds is kind of hard to lose without just straight up dying. Yeah. Also... Near, nearly simultaneous cutscenes right now, but on like different levels. One's in the replay menu and one's there. Oh, we don't. Nice. Oh yeah, they are synced. <laughs> <laughs> we got a close race all of a sudden. <laughs> 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 Who could have ever seen this coming? <laughs> wow. Oh no, Dingo's quitting. What is he doing? Ah, uh, the joke joke ran its course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's not forget that dying is a possibility. We've seen that in the last race, and it could that, happen on any race. Yeah. That and shooting clock clips. That's... Honestly, that's something I have not seen anyone do before, before the turn started. Like, I straight up haven't seen anyone do that before. Yeah. Well, the... the... The density of races is much higher now than than yeah. before, so it's it, it's seeing all the Hag One fights right next to each other. It's really easy to kind of see the stuff that you've never seen happen before. Like I've seen a lot of things happen like in the last like round of races that 
I've, I've never seen happen before. Or maybe I've only seen happen once. Like, a perfect example is the double despawning Dragundas that we had coming from the two races. That's oh, something yeah. that's extremely rare. I wouldn't say it's that rare. <laughs> but I could have been really unlucky this year. Yeah, it's, I, I don't know, it's completely random, and I don't know. Maybe you're just really lucky, Gogo. <laughs> yeah. Or unlucky for that matter. Maybe I should try to run low percent with all these, th with that glitch. Just grind out low percent runs until you finally get it. <laughs> yeah. Dicks. Dick's having a really good Hag 1 fight so far, aside from the uh, the very last second second shot that Grunny had on his 90-80 um, to 80 phase. He's managed to land all of his quick shots pretty nicely. We'll see what he gets here. I'm pretty sure I always, pretty much always hear him say he's not happy with his Hag 1 goal. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, Dick's Let's Hag see. 1 gold here is a 625, and that's that's a pretty average time I would say. For a lot of runners with his his time. Yeah. I mean, it's really easy to mess up. You mess up a cycle here, you do something that doesn't reduce lag properly there. I mean the seconds add up, and I mean like losing anywhere from five to ten seconds for absolutely no reason in Hag One is isn't weird at all. Dick running around collecting some eggs and collecting some health just to make sure he doesn't die here in the last section of the fight. Oh my god, Dingo. What is he doing? Oh, man. oh no. What's happening? Dingo Wait. just went through a lot of grenade eggs there. Dingo. Oh, oh, my god. No. But he doesn't know he's at 81. <laughs> he's at, you gotta he shoot missed him. The cycle. That's uh Oh no. <laughs> That's unfortunate. He's at 1 HP. <laughs> oh my god, everything's oh, he's, he's still at 2. Oh yeah, Hag one's. Oh, now he's at 1. Okay. You guys are way, way ahead of me. Uh, uh, Alright, Dingo so Slayer awesome. not pulling in as me and going for the health. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's only it's only 1 health. He's, but it can go a long way. He's gotta make sure to... Oh, it looked like that was the first honeycomb he'd picked up too. That was Jamjar's text when he picked up the honeycomb. He must not oh, have wow. uh, picked up the honeycomb when he went for a uh, talent torpedo. Huh, interesting. I think, wouldn't that, uh, that honeycomb save like a tiny, tiny bit of time? Since Jamjar's like refills the bar? Uh, like, wouldn't I don't. it refill like, a tiny bit faster? Yep. Maybe. That's why I've always thought that maybe if there's a possibility that you can just straight up not get hit. Yeah, well... Actually, if you weren't to lose any health, then I guess you wouldn't even talk in the first place, so yeah. 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 I mean, you're uh, you're drowning at this point yeah. in Jero. Yeah. You, you, can't, you can't make it up without taking damage unless you stop in Seaweed Sanctum. You don't have enough You can make air. it up with taking just one damage, right? Uh, I think I've seen that before. I think two. Two is the minimum. Yeah. Uh, two. Depends where you jump into the water too, but yeah. Anyway, Dick, yeah. Dick just blowing up his second battery. He's starting the last bit of the bit, last bit of the fight now. He's got a lot of eggs, and uh, oh no, Dingo having having some problems aiming at Hag One here. But at least at least he didn't miss the cycle on the that one. Yeah. yeah. Finish off the one. Dick with very clean grenade um, grenade shots as well here. Yep, he's doing pretty clean. Yep. He's probably not getting the Hag 1 fight that he hoped and dreamed of, but it's pretty clean for the race here. One day. One day he'll get it. Maybe. I wonder, is it faster to get to do rapid fire during these 15? No. Uh, no. I asked, we asked PG that earlier. He said there's just a lot of lag with that. Yeah. Shooting grenades at Hag 1 is very, very laggy. Oh yeah, makes sense. Ooh, the Ugger trolling dick. Yeah. He needs to get out of there. Luckily, he's still got lots of health, so he should be able to finish this no problem. Dick finishing the race with a 44-52. GG. 
Gee. <laughs> Dick showing his uh, disappointment <laughs> in the minions. It looks like Dingo has now switched to uh, just shooting fire eggs for the second, <clears throat> for the shots against Hag One. Yeah. As he runs the battery in. Aiming at Hag One is hard. Wow. Hag One is definitely the hardest part of an any percent run. Not gonna lie. Yeah. That Ugger was really, really close to him. Yeah. In the battery. Yeah. At least there's no opportunity to soft lock on the Uggers in any percent, because yeah. there's no ice eggs. Yeah. That's but that's I've... something that's never happened to me, but I've heard it's happened to other people. Oh yeah. When they don't know that freezing the auger is bad. Yeah, freezing the auger makes him stop moving, but at the same time, like. Auger can't exist during the uh during the last the last health, and if the game sees the auger, it just freezes. It's a, you actually need to hit the hugger while it's frozen. Yeah. The last phase. Or you, you take damage off of it, right? You need to take damage off of it. Uh, oh no. I'm not sure if it has to do with damage. Oh no. Oh, he barely oh, made it. Gosh. Barely didn't make it into the loading zone. Oh, wow. that was so close. <laughs> oh, uh. All right, let's go ahead and get some audio back on Dingo's stream here. Hopefully he remembers that the drill is just gonna completely stop moving, so he doesn't walk into one of the lasers. Yeah. I've seen that happen once or twice, I think. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Shooting his clockwork pretty far away, but manages yeah. to make it in before the cycle's over. Lots of time there. Alright, Dingo's starting his last, last section of the Hag 1 fight, the fight to the death. 69 eggs. Perfect, perfect. I like that. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Alright, it looks like he's opting just to shoot her with blue eggs here. Straight to the end. Yep. I feel like these last uh, 30 shots is where our aiming is not, not that good. Like, not as comparable to C aiming. Um, because it's hard to, like, adjust the reticle while you're turning to dodge the, the shots. Yeah. I mean, moving left and right is... It just takes practice. Like, I've seen some people who are very good at it. I think... I think Hag does it during this section, and I know that 8-Bit D does it as well, I think, still. So... Alright, Dingo finishing up his fight now. Finishes with a 48-23, that is... At least, at least he didn't die. I thought, I thought he was definitely gonna die earlier on in the fight. 